Well, we are Stockport has teamed up with Cavalier Studios in Stockport to talk to Oxford Archaeology North two months into their excavations to find out what lies beneath the streets of Stockport. So, Paul, you've been here for two months. Yes. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what's been found so far? Basically, what we found is um, a row of terrace houses from the 1840s, um, as well as central courtyards and toilet blocks. Tell me about the types of houses that you've been finding then. They're basically terrace houses. Um, there are back-to-back -back houses in the middle of the area, um, which may have had multiple families in them. And what type of living did people experience back in the 1800s? It would be quite poor. Um, the quality of the, the houses is very poorly built. Um, they're all probably fairly damp as well. Um, the, the brickwork and the mortar isn't waterproof until sort of the late 1800s, 1900s. Um, so it is very poor quality housing and almost slum living really, to be honest. Now, Stockport Council has contracted Oxford Archaeology North mm. to excavate prior to Red Rock being developed. What's been unexpected so far in your finds? Um, to be honest, it's just the level of survival. We are finding artefacts that are from the sort of last people that were living in the houses. So you're finding little toys, bottles, um, other bits and bobs, irons even, even those mechanical hoovers that you used to get. Now we're going to go and walk through and find out for ourselves exactly what Paul's been telling us about. Crikey. <laughs> it's quite steep, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, Paul, what have we got here then? There's a hole in the floor. Does this mean anything? Um, that hole in the floor has probably been formed by this coal chute that's here. Um, basically, there'll have been a man delivering coal, dropping the coal straight down the chute, and it'll have been hitting the floor there for quite a lot of time. Right, it's basically just worn the floor out. So there must have been a fire down here then? Yeah, that's this area just behind you right. here. Um, we've got the fireplace there. I mean, that would have provided a lot of heat for this room and would have probably kept it dry as well. Right. Um, because these walls weren't particularly waterproof. And did every single house have a cellar like this? Um, yes, pretty much. Every, every house, as we look down there, is pretty much the same. It's just a carbon copy. That's a good thing. We can actually just look over the wall, can't yeah. we? <laughs> Is this the size of the house then? Because it's quite a small space, isn't it? It is. This is one room in the house. Uh, these cellars here are, are just probably single cellar dwellings. Um, so you've got the, the wall, that's your front wall to Great Edgerton Street just over there. And then behind us, we've got this area that would have probably, um, the walls that you can see are probably just foundations for the first floor that would be above. Over here, we've got the cellar light. Um, this is where all the light for the room would have come from and would have probably had a sash window in it Which you can see from the sash window weights that we've just got there um, Obviously, you've got two of them uh, either side of the window This obviously the staircase that we came down before and we would have probably used that area under there as um, Some form of storage as it as it would be an open area looking over there. There's a girl sketching and um, what's happening This is one of our archaeologists uh, who's recording what's going on in the cellars. She's basically taking a, a sketch of what we've got here and then describing it. We'll move on to this, which is the uh, Smithy's Yard, which is uh, was originally constructed in the 1840s, um, but obviously went out of use in the 1850s-ish, around about that period, um, as you can see by these foundations for the later building. So this is the courtyard now? Yeah, this is the central courtyard that we've got here um, with a sort of paved area around the outside of it with drainage and all that. And then over here we've got a toilet block. The individual cubicles that have quite clearly been modified at some point because they've got concrete floors. And at the courtyard, Paul, with what looks to me like slightly better nick toilets? Yeah, these are a bit later in date than the ones we've just looked at and obviously they're a bit lower down so they survived a bit better. So Paul, we're in a different courtyard. What's um, unusual about here? Uh, this courtyard, as well as the, the structures in the area, have been heavily modified with sort of extending the walls, basically, to strengthen them, as well as building these very substantial pillars, which suggests that it's been modified into a commercial warehouse. Thank you, Paul. Stockport is a place rich in culture and heritage and what's been revealed on this trip is the hidden gems and the artefacts 
that truly do tell the story of Stockport.